Wakey, wakey, and do remember, tonight is the night for our weekly prison idol, where one of you will win the chance to leave Cripplehurst forever. Excellent. Hallelujah. I've got the perfect double act that'll get mine and your little brown ass out of here. Hey, did you hear about the new talent contest? Huh? With our robot moves, there's no way we're gonna lose. Unless there's some sort of conspiracy! Yeah, whatever. Give me more spunk. <sighs> uh, did you get this from that fucking freak in number nine? Yeah. You're gonna have to go out later and tug on someone else, because this stuff, it goes right through me. My mouth hurts. Okay, well, the guy number seven said he'll swap me some for one of my robo... What the hell? Where are my robo friends? Oh, don't worry your pretty little head about it, babe. They're in a very safe place, and you will be seeing them later. Now, why don't you go and have a sit down? Go on, Petal. It's a good boy. <laughs> Assume the position we've talked about it. Against the wall, put your head down. No, you're bending your whole back. You look like you're piddling down the wall. Stand up straight. Not side on, stand with your back against the wall. What are you doing with your hand? No, put your hand behind your back. Both your hands behind your back. Now look down. Yes! That's it! That's it, are you ready? Right, go! Then we'll begin. A mystery paraplegic came wheeling into town. He looked mean and he looked dangerous. He was wearing an angry frown. A mystery paraplegic came rolling in. Shut up! How many notes do you know? Two! Which ones? And? Cool! <gasps> Thank you! But neither of those notes are in the song. <laughs> Shut up, you noisy whore. There can only be one winner. And that winner will get to leave Cripplehurst forever. One way or another. And so, the panel of judges welcome to you. We have my wife and sister, Marion. <laughs> Not as nice as my first wife, of course. I could never love you as much as I loved her. You're somewhat of a disappointment. And of course, the chaplain, welcome to you. I hope you're going to control your black this evening, you dirty old fucker. Oh, and yes, I still have absolutely no idea who you are, you corpulent fool. But, uh, at some stage, I hope you're going to put a t-shirt on. Ha! And so, yeah, let the talent you begin. Hmm. Let the battle commence. Batman, 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 strange liquid in system. Can't maintain consciousness. <laughs> oh, extraordinary. And thanks, of course, to our nurse, Henrietta. Oh, that syphilitic, cock munching, council estate, cum bucket. <laughs> what a malevolent bitch. Let's move on to our very next act.
to see a fembot popping toy figurines out of a cold, hard polyacetylene fanny. <laughs> Marion, my dear, why couldn't you have a more symmetrical vagina like that lady? Hmm? Anyway, it's time for our next act. It's those fat swines from the kitchen with some manner of children's entertainment. <laughs> this should be good. Hello, boys and girls. Do you want to meet Punch? I said you want to fucking meet Punch! It's time for our final act. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald and his wonderful assistant. I don't know her name. Neither does she. Which film do you adore? Rocky 1, Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky 4. Which film do you adore? Rocky 1, Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky 4. Rocky 1, my favorite one. Star at that university. The struggle against adversity. <laughs> Rocky 1, Rocky 3, Rocky 4, Rocky 2, it made me blue, it's the only one I do, Apollo 3 has the need, because he was a by three. which bit do you adore, Rocky 1, Rocky 4, Rocky 3, it's plain to see, he's in the best of first three, we have Hulk Hogan and Mr. T, it's all a three, Rocky 3. Release the vomit now. Oh, Rocky, so, oh, what a bomb. It had a villain, Jacob, and Mom. If the dies, he dies. Oh, he cried. It was the film called Rocky IV. Oh, wait! Look <laughs> at Noisy hall. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the talent show. Each of you will get the opportunity to display.